Hi everybody, welcome back to So Making It Up. I'm Jane. And I'm Ashley. And we've got a bit of a random week again this week for our sewing catch up. Uh, shall we start with what we're wearing? Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, oh, so as promised, I made and this. Applause. Sorry, I don't want to punch you in the face. <laughs> you do. I do. You I actually do, really. do want to punch but me in the face. I am, um, as I said last week, I made a dress out of the um, zebra fabric, which is by Coca. Um, and it's like a, uh, uh, I think it's like a linen mix. It, it, I, I looked it on the website. It is Pigeon. a, is it Rayon linen mix? Yes, I think? It sounds yes. about familiar. So um, yeah, so it's sort of like a, you get a stand up and give us a 12. Yeah, it's a strange one. Um, it's a strange one or you're a strange it's a one. one. I'm a strange one. <laughs> but it's a strange one. <laughs> it's lovely, it's really nice. No, it looks, It's it changes colour. In depending on the light so sometimes I look at it I've had it on my mannequin at home and I look at it sometimes and it looks grey to me and then look at other times uh, it looks yes, brownish yes so and yeah I, I know exactly what you mean because this this grey here is like a I don't know what colour you'd call that like no a gray, it's a very it's a strange one but really nice. yeah I'm pleased with it I've actually got it on today with um leggings because I am freezing mm, it's really really gone cold yeah, in the UK it's gone really bitter but I wore it actually on Sunday. I went out to lunch and um, I wore it with tights and boots because it comes just just above the knee. And um, yeah, I was pleased with it. No one commented on it. But... Really? Mm. Really? Because I didn't see anyone. <laughs> no random strangers came up to me and said, oh, I like your dress. You just made that. <laughs> Somebody did actually say to me that I haven't told you this. Somebody that I hadn't seen for ages, um, we bumped into and they said, uh, Oh, you've had highlights. I wouldn't have recognised you. I'm like, no, they're not highlights. <laughs> Going back to our conversation last time about highlights. So yeah, they actually thought my grey was highlights. So thank you for that. <laughs> Nature's own highlights, I reckon. So yeah, so what have you made? I have made, again, as promised last week, I have made the Toaster So House 7 number two top. Um, and I've made a couple of these I will put pictures in here of the other one and this is my hack to make it into a sweater and I can't remember the name of the sweater I'll, I'll put that down there I have no idea it's it's a hack of a different pattern basically so we've got um the puff sleeves whereas the original toaster number two has got quite fitted sleeve I haven't changed the neck so it's it, I've kind of taken it in but it's this sort of scoop neck and then it's just I love like it. Bottom, like that. So yeah, the only hacky bits I did really was shorten the sleeve, flare the sleeve, and make a make my own pattern for for the cuffs. And on this one, I've hand hemmed the bottom. On the other one, I stitched across the bottom. And I don't like that look as much as I mm. as I do with this. But I, I honestly that. thought she had a white comfy jumper on when I came in. So I think it looks really effective. It's, I love it. And it's it, really it good. feels really nice. So this is the stuff from Higgs and Higgs and it's Angora cable cable knit and they've got it in stock in lots of different colours and it's it's it washes really well, it sews nicely and it feels nice to wear as well. Well so. you couldn't have you can you imagine how long that would take to knit? It, it would take me forever. Well me because too. I'm really bad at knitting. I've actually still got under my desk in my office, I've still got a jumper I started knitting last year. I've got scar. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. I was thinking it's like knitting season, season it again. Is, isn't it? I do I can, need to get on that a bit. Her tantrum yeah. with the drop stitches again. Yeah. But yeah, you could, you know, you that I think that's as effective as if you could have yeah, knit, knitted it. Yeah. Looks like it, it could be knitted. So. so that was that one, and quite quick and easy to make. Oh, really good. Not bad at all. What else you done? I actually haven't made anything else, but um, I have got. Um, I've downloaded a hoodie. Um, this is going back to your Sully fabric. This is going back to the Sully it? fabric. So I've downloaded the pattern. It's ready to cut out. I just need to measure it up. I might make a twirl. I don't know. Oh, twirl, 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 twirl. Is it? I twirl. Always thought it was a twirl. No. As in twirl, twirl. No. <laughs> anyway, I might make one of them, and I might do a twirl in my twirl. Um, <laughs> um, yeah i might do because i'm not I, it, i've not made this um i want yeah. to make it like an oversized hoodie 
and the hoodie pattern I've got I think is like a man's hoodie. well it's a unisex hoodie but I want to get the sizing right so I might do that I might just probably know me I'll just go for it with the right fabric we, so you all know what's going to happen and I won't do it twelve twelve <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad right. I found something else to annoy you with. Yeah. Right, um, I have made a couple of other things. I'll start with this one off the back here. I'm going to try not to put it in my cup of tea. So again, I'll put a picture up here of this. Can we hold one in? Can you see? I probably need to stand up with it so you can kind of, there you go, you can sort of see, see what it is. So really nice. So this is a bit of a cheating quilt. So the stag's head was actually pre-printed onto the white cotton. I have added on the border and then on here I've put on with Bondaweb um, glitter fabric and silver. This is the the vegan leather. The vegan leather. Stuffed yep. and still. Yeah. Um, and I've sort of free motioned those on. And then I've, I've sewn around the stag's head and it's got padding inside or wadding inside to make it into a quilt. And then obviously added the back and added some binding. So it actually hasn't taken very long to make at all. I got this from a place called Sewing Street, which is a, 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 a sewing TV channel, or, you know, and then just added the bits and it came with the templates. It came printed with some other fabric as well, sort of sections of pre-printed fabric, but I didn't like that as much because I wanted it to be mm, it's really nice and sort of silver and very stuff. Very new so colours. It is very new, I love purple. So, so that's that, yes. So I've done that. Good. Oh, I'll put it on the floor apparently. <laughs> right, and then the other thing I've made, because I did say I'd make a bag, so I've made a bag. Here we go, and this is from the fabric that I got from, I think it's the Fabric Shop UK. I'll put the name down here. Um, so, and I've also made straps out of leather. It's got a little there and then inside you probably can't see got a huge pocket inside um yeah really nice so it's just it's sort of a padded mm. tote i like the side i like the, the fact that the side detail is um what would you call that there's a seam down the side yeah. but i quite like that because you could then it just gives it some it up, structure it well. yeah <laughs> if you want to package it up. Pack it up yeah yeah instead of it sort of just being flat it yeah. gives it a bit of 3d there you go. So yeah, that's just a. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. Right? I think that's, that's a towel, a beach bag, yeah. or a laptop bag if you ever go anywhere again. Looking unlikely. Or We're in lockdown shopping. in the UK again from Thursday, so I don't think we'll be going anywhere much, will we? No. And then the other thing that I've made, which has nothing to do with saying at all, but we keep going about the cricket. I've started to make. Well, is that going to focus? Come on camera, you're supposed to be very good at focusing. Look. Hmm. Not that good at focusing, are you? <clears throat> anyway, let's not dwell on the fact that my camera <laughs> won't focus anymore. We shouldn't show this one, should we? <clears throat> it doesn't want to focus, <laughs> little dear. Yes. <laughs> no. Right, so anyway, what I've done is got some glitter cardstock and just designed some Love them. gift tags for Christmas. Ooh. So I've been playing with that as well. I'll put some pictures in because my camera's just like deciding not to work quite randomly. There you go. They're really good. Really like them. Really quick and easy to and do. And they're nice to even use as like table decorations. I've, I've or left something. these, I I've left the, the sort of the, the off cuts. Not a chance of seeing that. <laughs> no, no, really bad. Disappointed in your camera. Um, yeah, so that's why I've left these yeah, out because they're, they're quite things, cute, or, aren't they? Actually, you could have white or black cards and stick and them just on, stick them three D ish. Yeah, really nice. But yeah, they're so quick and easy to make. So I've been playing with that. So that is what I have been doing this week. Have you bought any fabric? No, I know. What's wrong with her? many things anyway let's move on from that <laughs> yeah, we haven't got time um i bought some fabric 
Ooh. I have bought, well, I, I think I've got a bit of a thing, haven't I? I buy one variant of something and then I have to buy it again and again. So I have bought um, some more of this, which is the spandex jersey from First Fabrics. So I have bought the grey version. So you may remember last, last vlog, I made the Hiram um, trousers. And there was a picture that we put on Instagram of me wearing them. Um, so I'm going to make a grey var variant version of them. And I'm also going to make a grey um, set for or pair for my daughter, my sister, my daughter, my mother. Anyone, Everybody, the amount of fabric you've got, yeah, I actually in the have got, by the looks I have of got it. three metres, but I was thinking my daughter's tiny, so she will, you know, the majority of that will go for me. Um, I bought a pink version, so they actually do blue, but the blue had sold out. They do blue, green, pink, or grey. So the pink version is for my daughter's friend Tabby, if you're watching us. And is it coming your way? They are coming your way, and if I can get them done um, before lockdown, that'd be yeah, perfect. Then I'll send them to you. Um, so what I thought I might do is actually do um the trousers with the pink and then i might do color uh, pocket inserts with mm. the contrasting yeah, color nice. or maybe a waistband yeah so i've managed to persuade mia that it'd look nice to have the pink pockets on hers because she doesn't like anything pink and then i bought you're keeping bought, this company in in i am they even sent me a nice little note saying thank you for your gorgeous order <laughs> and um <laughs> this is the same fabric so spandex jersey again and this is like a, a an olive green um, I think it's olive green. And it is coming up quite true to colour on there. Yeah, so I'm going to make another pair out of that. And if I've got enough um, enough left, I might make a t-shirt as well. And so then I can go around my house in camo. I was going in the say. garden and um, <laughs> scare the neighbours. <laughs> yeah. So how many how many pairs is that all together? About 35 pairs, I think. You, you'll have got over your obsession by the time you've made it all that. I though. think it will be four pairs. That's right, isn't it? No, three pairs. No, four. Me, four two for me, one for me, one for Tubby. That's yeah. the pay you've already made. Yeah, that's a bit much, isn't it, really? But anyway. So, um, <laughs> says she's sitting here in her, like, fourth toaster top. Yeah, no, I fine. know. <laughs> I don't know. That's the thing, though. You master it by the end, don't you? I think that's the thing, isn't it? You sort of make it and get it out of your system and... Um, then move on. Yeah. To the next obsession. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's what I am going to make. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Well, I've got quite a lot of fabric actually that I need to start making have things you? with. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> yes. So that's your plans next week. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Not like you. Not like me at all. I still have the moon wake, moon wake a bag on my dining room table, which dining room, extra sewing mm. room, you know, same thing. Or family have to eat off their laps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my additional sewing room. That's what dining rooms are for, surely. Um, so I might, it keeps staring at me, so I'm gonna have to at least try and start that. Um, I might make another pair of cords. I've mm. got some cord fabric I bought like years ago. Um, so I might make a pair of cords because I, I need some cords. Need some. Well, I need some because I'm sitting down a lot. So all my jeans are shrinking. So I need to make some clothes that fit. Are you sitting in the washing machine when you're sitting down a lot? <laughs> they shrink when they're in the wardrobe. If it's a well-known fact, if you think in the so. wardrobe too long, they've all shrunk when you get them. Do that. All it's of them. It's very annoying, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So as Jane, stop. as Jane said, we're we're just we're going in the UK. Um, those watching from the UK will be painfully aware we're going into lockdown again um, yeah. for Thursday. So at the end of Wednesday, all shut again. So, so that's why we're filming this early. So by the um, time you see it, we'll already be in lockdown. But this is filmed. Yeah, free. we thought we'd get in. Everyone else going to the pubs and getting drunk while they're open. We're doing a vlog. Um, <laughs> that's dedication for you. <laughs> so. Um, 
Yeah, so we are we won't be able to get together because there's no household mixing or anything. So what we what we can do though is we can meet for walks. So we're going to think of something creative to do so that we can update you. It might not be as frequent, um, it might be, you know, every other week or something, but we will be doing something because we will have lots of time for sewing. And it might involve two mad dogs and mm. and lots lots of camera shake if we try and take you with us. Or we might do some separately. We could do some yeah. try and do some yeah. dogs separately as well. So we'll work it out, but bear with us if we're a little bit late on our first one, it's because we're still getting our heads around the best way to um to get out to you. So um yeah. That's it, isn't it? That's I it. It's it quite is. A quick one this week it's because the time's come around so fast and thank you thank you for all of your lovely comments as well to, for our last vlog they yes. were making me laugh yes we were talking last time weren't we about the christening gorn poly pocket which apparently is a thing what a surprise unless you've all made it up and you're on <laughs> Ashley's side <laughs> if, if that's all. not that but yeah, if you not bribed them um, it's like yeah, rent to friend <laughs> to friend i could do with some of those um, yeah it's been quite informative thank you very much yeah. for that thank so thank you everyone it was making us giggle when we looked at your comments very funny um yeah we, so we need to find something else don't we that we're not sure about and our lovely our lovely viewers can put us I think right that there's lots of oh, sure stuff, stuff we don't know lots and lots i could think of lots of work questions we could start oh, asking yeah, people yeah. no 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 one would care or be interested <laughs> but true. if you've got any random sewing facts feel free to share them yeah that would be really good actually or your favorite your favorite thing to make your favorite sewing technique I'm always interested in stuff like that because when I learned to sew, which was like over oh, 30 years ago, um, <laughs> things were done. <laughs> things were done in a very specific way. And whereas I've only been doing the same for three, so I'm well, clearly much younger. Um, so techniques have moved on massively, and you get in your head a certain way to do things, and then someone else comes along and goes, Oh, I just do it like this, and it's like five seconds. That's like, like me, isn't it? With yeah, you. you. <laughs> You're like, I don't bother doing any of that. I just yeah, throw it together and it looks perfect. Like or following instructions. Just make it up. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, just put it together. So, yeah, if you've got any good sewing techniques, I always love learning new stuff, new ways of doing things. So feel free to show them. That'd be lovely. And if you like this video, appreciate it if you'd give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, feel free. If you want notifications, please hit the bell. Um, and then... Well, we'll see you soon in some form or other. We'll see you before we get to the other side. Yes. Whatever that may be. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure we're ever coming out of this lockdown, if I'm honest, but no, you know, no. We'll there's going to be a happens. lot of very shrunken clothes by the end of mm. it, that's all I can say. Mm. But stay safe, everyone. Yes. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye.